got some of this rip cord, 2.5 millimeters cross section area. And I've divided it in half as accurately as I can by unwinding it and stretching it out. So now I've got two pieces. Let's use it for the speakers. This is just part of the banana jack. I was thinking I'd figure out how deep the hole is before I start cutting insulation off. So let's try uh, about there for starters. Yeah, good thing I didn't take any more off here. Yeah? And then there were two. I need to just get stripped as well. And then I like to tin my wires before trying to join them. Right, to connect each of the three drivers to the three crossover submodules, I basically need some pieces of wire. I've worked out that 50 centimeters is a good length. Bit of a mock, did a bit of a mock up earlier. So I think the best way is to just cut them all in one go and then start stripping the ends. So that's for one speaker from all the drivers to the crossovers. And then for the crossover, just to bridge it into the speaker wire, I've worked at 25 centimeters. You need three of those as well. And I'll just open up all the ends first. Production line style. Imagine working on a production line, having to do this kind of manual work like they must have been doing back in the day. When the production line was first getting going as an industrial concept. Very repetitive work. <laughs> Drive me out of my skull, I think. Okay, there we go. Now we need to start. Yeah, sometimes when I'm working on these projects, I'm thinking, why am I doing all this work? But at the same time, if you just sit here or stand here and do it, then it gets done. At the end of the day, you've got something to show for it, which is a good thing. That's one speaker. The second speaker. Yeah, I'm going to tin all the edges now. So this is the back dead space where the, let's just put it this way, where a whole bunch of crossover equipment is going to be in. However, on the other side of this wall is where the speaker is going to be going. And then these bottom two here, just using the pointing stick, <coughs> I mean pencil, to point it to you know, where the big speaker is at the bottom, the woofer, and the mid, and then the tweeter at the top here. So let me try and draw those out. I'm only going to be able to do the top, these top twos and these bottom two, the middle two, not these bottom ones here going down. It's because the drill won't fit. Okay, we've got that one. Better. Okay, there we go. I'm going to do these bottom ones by hand, which is going to suck. Yes, hand power, finger power, not the best thing for trying to drill. Trying a different approach using a 3 mole drill bit instead of a 4 mole drill bit. The hole's slightly wider without having to rely on the power of my fingertips. Okay, so here's the next size up drill bit. Yeah, 2.3. Very uh, faintly written on there. So this one does not fit through. These holes are good though. That's drill bit four. So now, try this one. Ow. And so you've seen a guy using a pair of pliers to drill a hole on the internet now. Crazy things happen. I mean, the draw bit's twisting because it's not quite big enough to fit the draw bit right through there, but still, that's an improvement. Start to understand how those people way back when could have made things without fancy machines. They had lots of time and patience. 
why we're doing this. Make sure that this plastic cable can fit. Okay, so those holes are good. Will these maybe just... Ah, oh, no. That's not going to work. So we still have to make these bigger. Look at that. Making progress. That one's still got a lot, of, a lot to go. <laughs> That's what I find. Sometimes you just got to rest a bit and then come back and try again. And then you eventually get there. So after the 3.3 mole will come the 3.5 mole. I think I've only got four more bits, but I might try and find on metric bit and imperial bit that's in between. I think we're effectively broaching the hole here. There we go. 3.5. Gotta do it again, I'm afraid. I wonder if we can make this bit bigger using some tape. And if that'll make it easier to grip. Maybe try and uh, make it a bit uh, rough as well. Plus, hopefully it's softer on my fingers, because... Oh yeah, that's a bit better. Definitely easier on the fingers. Got like a short pair of pliers. Always about leverage, right? In this case, it's all about working confined spaces, I suppose. Otherwise, I would just use a drill and be done with it. Yes, a lack of planning is causing me a lot of work. Just a quick note. That's this one, and yeah, effectively, what I'm looking at is, is it positive, it is connected to positive, whereas with these ones, positive is actually connected to the negative. So yeah, fun and games, right? So first, let's uh, pick one of these, okay. Okay, so negative, should be like that. In this case, because the documentation says reverse it, we're going to reverse it. Can't see what I'm doing. The camera in the way. Like that, so I'm pretty happy with that one. Uh, so this should be positive, negative, and then reversed. So something like that, I reckon. Leaves this one, and we'll just go positive and negative, as indicated. Mini, 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 eh? Yeah, that's fine. Give that one a go first. Just try and freshen this one up a bit. Right, so for each of these I've actually tested them by hooking up some thin wire. So red and whatever black equivalent in this one, aka the ground for black, and positive is the red. So we just remove each one of these. Yeah, clean that off. Plenty of solder. I'm very happy about that joint. Nice one. And sometimes it doesn't want to come off, and then sometimes the easiest way is just to add a little bit of solder. Uh, okay, well, there goes the other one. And because this is the ground, that would go to the speaker. This one here. Get that off there. Right, so one challenge is to get the wires 
through here, just padding through the holes that have been drilled. So what I've done is I've cheated. I've put, well, I've cheated. I've put two two small draw bits through here, so I'll know where to feed the ends of the wire through. Just give that a go. Just need to split these apart. And because on the crossover board, or the sub module of the crossover board, it's going to have to be a part. You know, I'd rather strip it this way than on the speaker side. So I'd rather feed it through here. Missed that one. Right, so after great difficulty, I managed to thread this through the you know, this non woven material and get it where I wanted it. Just went with red on the left because, well, that's where it joins on. So great. Uh, so now we can make a plan to fasten this. Even just a little bit, pre drilled some holes, make it easier to get it started. And yeah, these are not going to be the final screws because they look uh, <laughs> kind of terrible. Need to get some nice black screws, but I'm also not countersunk because this is just me using what I have, it's only temporary. So, yeah, this was quite tricky to get threaded through. And basically it's just because this fiber, you know, this non-woven material would be getting stuck in the, the holes as you're pushing the wires through. That's about what I needed to do. It would be much easier to go from this side, so something to consider if you're not pedantic like me. Cool, so let me uh, get the other ones through. It should be much easier. And we'll get it wired up. Let's take out the soft filling. The lightly stuck soft filling. There we go. Now, as I recall... Magic, this one's loose. It's a compression fitting, let's put it that way. Makes it much easier to get to the holes. Right over there. And then there's another pair up there. That is so much easier than the bottom one. Pretty simple because it's vertically orientated. You know, I know which speaker is which or which driver, I, sh I should say. And the tiny little tweeter on top, and then the one below that, and I will see the one below that. And if you look carefully, you'll notice that you can all get get them all out here. I can pull this one further, and that allows you to solder on the crossover boards. Which we have over here. Let's get the temporary wires on to where the speaker needs to be connected because the the ground obviously goes to the ground. By this point, I know that this is for the, the big speaker or the large driver, you know, and our middle-sized one, and our tiny-sized one. I think I had this so long that I can just put it up here. Right, let's just remove this one. Make sure we can remember to put that there. I imagine how fun it's going to be to solder these four together. <laughs> Thank you. 
like that or like that. I think I like this better. Mostly just because it makes it slightly easier to tell at a glance what's happening. That golden child from before. Not the prettiest joints, but two point five uh, more wire times four starting to get quite a bit of copper there. I think it's acting as a heat sink, so the heat's going into the wires and makes it hard to get both heated at the same time and have the solder go into them. So I think we managed to get it right. If not, I'll just resolder it. Uh, look, old school heat shrink. I mean, uh, insulation tape. Okay. Oh, oh, really missed that one, huh? Oh well. I guess we'll be resolving it right now. <laughs> non traditional use of the solder sucker. Yeah. A bit more manageable now. And yes, there was some swearing edited out there. A couple of singe marks, etc. It's always interesting when you recognize something's burning and then you realize that burning smell is you. I hope all my soldering joints are fine, otherwise, I'm going to have to take off a lot of insulation tape. <laughs> and then just to space out. <laughs> All these components in here, although you can see they're actually on different planes. We have some of these to go in here. Wouldn't want any short circuits. Keep those two separated. And hopefully I've not just uh, broken any soldering joints by doing that. Also we have the door for later. At some point this is probably going to come through here. Well, these two maybe. We'll get some jacks and then have a little door. In the meantime, I think we just put the door uh, in here to prevent it getting lost. Time to test it out. I have to admit, it sounds uh, pretty transparent. I hope you enjoyed that. Cheers.